Hey there, Taylor here doing an addendum video to the blocky rock, paper, scissors demo. Uh, in this video, we are going to be describing the commitment scheme used in that demonstration. Before we get into the commitment scheme, I would like to describe the encryption uh, process that we are using. Essentially, this is called a Caesar cipher. Uh, it's a very old and very simple cipher, but uh, what it does is each player will select a, an integer between 1 and 10 at the beginning of the game. This will represent an offset, an alphabetical offset uh, for each letter. Uh, in this demonstration we can see that the number 3 was chosen, so every letter E will get shifted left three spaces to letter B. Uh, likewise letter F becomes letter C and letter D becomes letter A. This gets extrapolated across the alphabet and so whatever player selected 3 as their offset uh, we'll have this particular mapping to each letter. Now an offset of 4 would make E map to A and likewise across the alphabet. Um, again we can think about this across the entire alphabet. So in a Caesar cipher your letter that you or the number you select in the beginning uh, is your text offset uh, to where you map each letter of the alphabet. To begin we have our two players, player 1 and player 2 and our game contract, which is going to contain the throws for each player. Uh, when this originally starts and the game contract is deployed, player one has selected their throw, which is rock, and player two has selected their throw, which is paper. However, the game contract does not know what these throws are, and neither player has any information about what the, their opponent has selected. In addition to this, there is the key, which each player has selected as a random variable between 1 and 10, and this will indicate their Caesar cipher uh, encryption key. Uh, now keep in mind this could be, the, we, we chose to use a Caesar cipher for this uh, encryption, but any, any really any uh, cipher could be used in place of the Caesar cipher. Uh, we just chose Caesar cipher as it was simple and easy to explain. In this next step of the commitment scheme, each player is going to encode their throw with the key used in a Caesar cipher so that their opponent doesn't know what their answer was based on the encoded version of what they selected. Player 1 chose rock, so with the key 3, we can see that they posted the answer URFN to the game contract, and likewise, Player two with paper posted the key, uh, with key seven posted the encrypted version of their answer, W H W L Y. Next, each player can go onto the game contract and read what their opponent has written down for their throw. When they read this throw, they know that the opponent has committed this as an answer to the game contract. With this commitment, they know that the opponent cannot read their own answer because it's encrypted and has because they have committed their own answer uh, that will be revealed in the next stage they can be assured that their opponent will not change their answer once they find out the results of the game. In this next step because each player knows that their opponent has committed to their answer without revealing what it is they trade the keys for their Caesar cipher. Player 1 gives their key the value 3 to player 2, and player 2 gives their key the value 7 to player 1. With these keys, they can now decipher the answers that they have recorded from the game contract. Now each player has all of the information they need to decode the encrypted answers that or the encrypted throws that their opponent has posted on the game contract. In this case, player 1 realizes that player 2 threw paper and likewise player 2 sees that player 1 threw rock and they can use game logic to determine the winner of the game. This commitment scheme is important in blockchains because all of the information that is posted to a blockchain is in plain text. If we did not encrypt the data in some way to the game contract, then either player could look at the game con the, the answers that are posted to the game contract before their own and potentially change their answer. Uh, in the interest of avoiding cheating and keeping the game honest, we implemented this commitment scheme uh, as an interesting way to prove that one, it's possible to keep honesty on a plain text data store like a blockchain, 
and two, that the Valve library can handle any of the functionality needed to incorporate this commitment scheme or really any commitment scheme into your uh, smart contract functionality.